subcommittee reports. There's something on here on parking. Do you want to? Um, I can just mention what mention uh, yeah, Dave came in and he mentioned at the last meeting he was concerned about parking at the middle school. Uh, he had a couple of concerns. One of them is that during school events, uh, when we have concerts and that sort of thing, or like tonight, um, that people park on the east side of that, that one way street and that worried him. I did ask him if he's had anyone contact him that was upset about that, and he said no. He just thought if he lived there, that would probably upset him. Is it illegal? No. 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 So it's not illegal to do. Um, we talked about buses blocking the street, and that doesn't happen. Um, Why doesn't it happen, I guess? I always thought it was a good idea that it did happen. I did, so too. Nobody comes zipping by there and pick a kid off. Well, I think it bus. did happen. It used to. It used, used to happen all the time. They used to block it off, and I was just glad. And I never had a problem with it, personally, me. And you do have a choice if you kind of get stuck there, because you can turn and go up the north parking lot and get around. You know, it's not like they're sitting every corner. Yeah. The only reason that I think probably it doesn't happen now is I bet nobody told the drivers from Wall Lake v. Auburn that come to pick up the middle school kids that he usually block the street. I think they didn't know any different. Mm -hmm. well, I just assumed that they did. I don't know what if Phil has told them not to or whatever, but I always thought I don't know how it came about that it is with that way. Yeah. Well, and that, that's exactly right. I, I never said no. about but it. But Dave didn't like it that it did block the street. He, you know, and I said my thought about blocking well, the street was we've probably... we 30 years, 40 years, how long we've been at yes, He asked me why I thought it was that way, and I said my only guess was that so that high school kids getting out of school weren't tearing around, not that they always would, but they might tear around the bus, and those kids will run between the buses to go over to get into another car or something. Yeah. I figured it was probably for that reason. Um, I always thought it was a good idea, so if you want to talk to Phil, my opinion would be if he doesn't have a problem with Doing it again. I, I just assume that. That's a safety thing. Yeah. Does he? The, the, the sack buses come well, no, the only thing that I'm thinking about is we could, I mean, those buses get there, it, they'd be sitting there for about 20 minutes. Yeah. Because oh, they get there sometimes at about 5 after 3, and by the time they're off going, it's about 325. Mm -hmm. Because the bell rings at 324. Yeah. Would you still talk, we can still talk about it. Yeah, 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 it's a good well, conversation. The, the back course, bus yeah. could, I don't know how you do it, but one thing, the back, back bus could hold back, but when the kids started getting out, he could pull across mm -hmm. and officially block Pole Street. You know, they used to stagger it, but it is a problem if it's going to be blocked for 20 minutes. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. But they could all, you know, three of them could pull up so it never did, or four or whatever it is, and then the last bus could swing out. Different yeah. street and stuff, but how do they load at Lakeview? They, um, they don't block the street, they pull up on that curb, but the problem there is that now we finally got the buses to pull. I mean, the nose of one is on the tail of the other because kids were running between to go over to cars. And I don't know how, I mean, nobody ever got hurt but why they didn't, and now there's just no room between the buses whatsoever. But See, that, we, we have that stops. potential here too because if there the parent parks on the other side of the road, I mean, yeah. we've got that potential. Yeah, yeah there is a stop sign. I don't know, something to look at. I, it, doesn't, it never bugged me that it was blocked out. I thought it was a good idea. So some, like you said, some kids were driving there, or anybody was driving past it. But some kid over there. And he, his other concern was he thought that the parking lot on the north side should be left for visitors during the day. Um, but so that you know, the master contract. Uh, yeah, that's always been staff. Always says, been staff. Uh, does, but that's staff. It says it's a staff and visitor parking lot. And honestly, it's not hard at that building this year during the day to park pretty close to the front entrance yeah. because There's nobody's no driving. Mm -hmm. And There's the staff only the black had caddy and the other one, Bert. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of cars back yeah. there, and yeah, there, there's plenty of out front parking, really, way more than there has been before when lots of students were driving. Um, but anyway, we, if you remember last time, we talked about the fact that he would come in and we talk about that, so we talked.